Police carried out day two of its bicycle crackdown. Our story yesterday got some people pretty riled up. We heard comments from both bike riders and drivers about who is following the rules of the road and who is not. News Channel 3 senior reporter John Palminteri joins us live. And John, today's police sting was a little different than yesterday's. Yeah, as a matter of fact, they were looking for the same violators, and we're here on the corner of Santa Barbara Street and Canna Perdido Street. Matter of fact, just in the last five minutes, we have seen five bicyclists on the sidewalk, more than that without lights on tonight, and four skateboarders. As you know, down in this area of town, we have signal lights here, and then the next block has stop signs. And what we tried to do compared to yesterday, where it was signalized intersections, is to come a few blocks out with the police today on day number two of the sting to see if there was any difference between the drivers and the bicyclists. And the answer we found out was no. Bicyclists have to adhere to the rules of the road. A lot of that's education, and unfortunately some of that is also enforcement. The special two-day police enforcement of bicycle laws in Santa Barbara has stirred up a lot of attention to the rules of the road for bike riders and for drivers. And the reality is, we share the roads and we have to give respect in order to get respect. The latest sting was at intersections with stop signs. It follows a day at signalized intersections. Many tickets were written for violations, including riding with headphones on and failing to stop at the stop sign. Every time you investigate a traffic accident where a bicycle is hit in a stop sign intersection, they, they all say that they didn't see the car coming. It's because they didn't see the car. That's why you're supposed to stop. At times, especially at night, a bike rider can disappear from a driver's view which can be blocked by what's called the A-pillar at the edge of the windshield. Just that little three-inch piece of metal in the car, as the driver goes along, the bicyclist can be perfectly in a position where the, car has, the driver has no idea the bicycle's there because of the A-pillar. The Santa Barbara Bike Coalition has also handed out special cards with safety tips listed that includes wearing visible clothing, having a bike in good operating condition, and following the rules of the road. Those who egregiously blow stops or red lights, yeah. they put a bad name for everybody. And bicycling is a legitimate activity. We have yeah. a legitimate right to the road. And there's responsibility that comes with that. This map by the city shows most of the bike accidents occur mainly downtown. And police say this crackdown comes with far more tickets than warnings. Most cyclists do their best to follow all the rules of the road, as do most motorists. We all need to do a better job to show the road. And that map has so many dots on it. Somebody who saw it today, an avid bike rider, said it looks like it had measles. This is the card that they give out. It says bike safe safely on the Santa Barbara streets with those tips. They also have it on Espanol. Seguro and BC is what it says on those cards. Ride carefully out there. Live in downtown Santa Barbara, I'm John Palmentary, News Channel 3.